Amnesty International, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Amnesty International delivers this statement on behalf of 11 NGOs. We thank the Coordination Committee for the update on the work undertaken by the special procedures to highlight the human rights impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. As states undertake extraordinary measures to curb the spread of COVID-19, we recognize the good faith efforts of many states to effectively protect the right to life, the right to health and other human rights, including the principle of non-discrimination. We also recognize that in other contexts, states have used emergency powers to enact repressive measures that do not comply with the principles of legality, proportionality and necessity, and that may have the effect or intention of suppressing criticism and minimizing dissent. In this regard, we take heart at the special procedure statement that the COVID-19 crisis cannot be solved with public health and emergency measures only. All other human rights must be addressed too. We also welcome the various tools that have been developed by the mandate holders, such as the COVID-19 Freedom Tracker, the dispatches, video messages and guidelines, in addition to the vast number of press releases. Making these tools readily accessible to all stakeholders is critical, as is considering ways to receive feedback and share learnings about their application. We encourage the special procedures to continue to deepen their analysis of state responses, including through reports to the Human Rights Council and the General Assembly, and to offer guidance to states on how to respond to the crisis in a human rights compliant manner. Last but not least, we urge member states to, to cooperate fully with the special procedures. While country visits are suspended for the time being, this should not be used as an excuse not to cooperate. We call on states to respond in a timely manner to communications from the special procedures and to seek technical and expert advice from relevant mandate holders in relation to draft legislation to ensure that these are in line with states' obligations to respect, protect and fulfill all human rights. Thank you.